Good afternoon, people. Joy here doing a fragrance review today from the house of Frank Olivier. And this fragrance house actually is growing on me. You know, I have tried uh, quite a few and I own previously two of these, uh, two of their fragrances. I'll show them as I go along and I'll let you know about this particular fragrance, uh, whatever I got so far. And it's a really, really solid fragrance, which is why I got it. And uh, I'll show you some similar fragrances it's actually a clone sort of like similar fragrance to some popular fragrances two popular fragrances and uh they have also been cloned before so i'll show you the similar fragrance as well but before i start i would just like to say thanks to all the youth of bangladesh uh, you are showing the changes uh how it is to be done uh we for the very first time we are seeing lanes in the traffic you know system on the roads people are maintaining and they're just going with the flow i mean there is a revolution going on and i really think this kind of changes we needed we couldn't do it in our time uh so the kids salute to you guys all right you guys are brave hearts all right so we are with you right hopefully inshallah someday changes will come in bangladesh right so anyway uh let's go with the review uh, first of all here's the packaging this 100 ml edt okay the box is kind of a simple side it's not very heavy box typical uh your uh normal paper uh, kind of box and stuff okay it says black touch it says Frank Olivier with a C and K Frank Olivier is uh, spelled like that all right and then this is 100 ml you know this all this information there's some sort of a pattern here the back it says made in Paris like made in France yes here and uh, I think you'll find um, manufacturing date or something like that. I don't know uh, some numbers and bottom you're gonna get your uh, other information and up there you have a logo okay so this house actually it's a uh, as far as i understand they have may perhaps have their own fragrances but more or less the ones that i sniff they are similar to something more popular like uh, they have one version of platinum egoist uh, of their own you know fragrance i think it's called passion man or something they have one million clone uh, they also have uh, this one that i reviewed a few i think last week or a few weeks back that is a uh, blue touch this is a great alternative to aqua digio edt and it does last three times more than original aqua digio and it smells very natural very polished and beautiful aromatic scent lasts a very long time then i did own before that the first was this one i own wood touch and this fragrance let me tell you it's a quality you cannot even imagine how much quality you get from this and even the new one i'm about to talk to talk to you about all right so this is actually a Wood is pan, uh, by Chanel, sorry, Wood is pan from Dior's Prevail line, that, that fragrance clone, all right? So this, check it out for a fraction of price, you can enjoy that. If you like Oud, man, this smells amazing, okay? Beast mode performer, okay? So the third one, I know this one, I didn't need to get it, but uh, this is the Black Touch, okay? Why I got it, I'll tell you in a bit. So this typical same bottle like other ones, they have a little bit like a pattern going on, it's like, you know, uh, the, it looks like a door or something like you know moved inside or something like that there's a tree here the signature and it's a very dark bottle it looks like almost like blood Chanel bottles okay like this or so sorry okay if you see blood Chanel bottle almost the same but size wise a bit different okay uh, so that's like a very dark bottle but I think if you put LED to it you can see the juice level inside but very dark bottle back also same pattern up there it has the detailing Frank Olivier Paris bottom is your sticker and everything okay it says black touch by frank olivia all the information so prices on these i don't know if they have a smaller bottle size i think the prices on these on 100 ml around 30 35 dollars uh, expect to not pay more than 40 dollars for these fragrances okay uh, i think if you are in overseas countries i think you can even get it for 20 dollars i don't know but in our country it's like 35 to 40 dollars okay so it's not exactly a cheapy but it's affordable fragrance okay now the cap it's not fit Okay, on this one, it's not fit, but sometimes, you know, when you, it's not really consistent, what I'm trying to say, sometimes it just comes off very easily. So I suggest you can put a tape around it just to make it very secure, like the way, way I did it for the wood touch. Okay, I put tape around it, just giving you the information for your uh, safety. Okay, and the uh, sprayer, it's okay, it's good sprayer, it's a black sprayer, looks very neat, beautiful bottle. Really like the bottle, it's very reflective, sort of a dark, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh bottle color and stuff okay so yeah it looks really nice let's see the sprayer okay sprayer is very good okay let's go two sprays for the um 
what it called the reviews purpose so this fragrance how many sprays i would go with three sprays with this okay three sprays with this fragrance because it's relatively strong fragrance longevity is quite good it's a potent fragrance and it's kind of on the darker side okay so i think my friend ben mr ben he is uh, shaven on the dark side i think his channel called um i'm really sorry if i got that channel name wrong but i'll leave his link below i really loved his review on this uh, there are a few other reviews on it but here is my take okay uh, so this fragrance, it's another gem from this house. It's a, I wouldn't use the word cheapy. It's an affordable fragrance. So this fragrance actually let the cell down and I'll let you see which fragrances I was talking about. This fragrance cloned. I get a mix between these two. Very, very uh, epic fragrances. First one I get, when I sniffed it first time, I got half Terre d'Hermes 50% and half Ancre Noir. So imagine these two kind of have a baby and that's your opening, okay? And this one you guys know it's not very these are not very easy or safe blind by sort of fragrance you have to really give them time they both have some common notes but they have the differences as well this one contains the inky vetiver it's known for and it has a cypress note it's a dark inky vetiver very beautiful long lasting fragrance for the uh, cooler months and tear dermis is all year round but also has that earthy uh, sort of orange and it has a vetiver it has a uh, some other notes going on and stuff. They has ISO is super high on that makes it last all day. So both of these are very good fragrances for, uh, I would say, a little bit more uh, mature noses, all right? But once you understand them, they are kind of like masterpiece. So imagine both of these have a, like a mix and that's the opening for the Frank Olivier Black Touch, okay? It, it smells really nice. It smells like the orange is very popping up really early. At first, it feels like a little bit smoky to me, you know, like, when it's sprayed first time, it smells like a little bit like animal, like kind of dark, gonna be a powerhouse. It's not quite the powerhouse, like many other, uh, let's say, Kuros and stuff. It doesn't have that potency like that, but it does smell very, very potent. And it does last a very long time. Longevity is pretty damn good. I get six to seven hours continuously from this fragrance, okay? If you spray it on shirt, it's gonna last a really long time. On the skin, at least in my conditions, five hours. In the winter time, I think it's gonna get improved. So now... Performance is gone. Projection. Projection, really, really good too, you know. If you have three sprays, one on your chest, maybe one on your neck, and maybe one on your, maybe one on each arm or something, let's say four sprays, that will be adequate. It will project very nicely. People can smell your fragrance, and they will know it's a family a DNA. So if you like Terre d'Hermes, but if you think it's uh, more expensive, which it is, Terre d'Hermes is very expensive. It's at least uh, $65 for 100 ml. So you have to spend like half the amount of, this one and which you get on the dry down exact same smell as Terre d'Hermes okay but there are differences Terre d'Hermes on the dry down on me it gets a little bit powdery which this one doesn't it stays pretty uniform black touch and it stays pretty uh, non-powdery it smells more air, like watery the orange a little bit dirty earthy orange that feel you get from this one and you also get the vetiver and there's some I think uh, cardamom up top on this one and there's definitely black pepper in this you know that's what makes it a bit dark I really like it it's very masculine it's a very bold statement and I think it's a little bit for mature noses but I think you can use this all year round not just winter time so it's, so it's a bit more versatile Terre d'Hermes will last on me longer I admit it okay but this for the price is a gem so now let me show you two other fragrances that I reviewed before as Terre d'Hermes clones and I'm still standing by them they are both very very good too first one is arm of i don't know if you can find it now arm of derby clubhouse belmont okay this juice is very rich colored uh, juice it's almost like eau sauvage parfum kind of a juice and this is a beautiful bottle presentation is a realistic stitching and stuff check out my review on this and ivan hope if this is still a discontinued house okay so these two are really really solid but the difference between these two and the frank olivier one is these two are also a bit on the powdery side on dry down so they last a very long time longevity is pretty damn good and uh, this one actually lasts uh, as much as tear dermis almost okay the arma phone so these two also you can buy you cannot go wrong but let's say you do not own tear dermis you don't own uncle noir you don't own any of the clones you can definitely check this one out black touch i highly recommend it you also get a little bit of sweetness it has uh, some sweetness to it it has some bitterness it has uh, but it doesn't do so much of daring or bold statement you know if you think it's gonna be too risky no but give it a try do not blind by anything because it's kind of on the cheaper side give it a try 
if you like a longer lasting fragrance and if you want to go something for the office work and you want to wear something with your formal dressing you don't want to spend so much this is a good fragrance to look at so i would say frank olive is impressing me every day day by day and i i don't know this this particular bottle has two other bottles like this line there's a white touch for women that i'm really keen to get another one is called night touch i think that is people say it's more close to uh mont blanc uh, legend but mont blanc legend like fragrance i have a lot of them i'm not interested in that one so what i want to do is i want to get the white touch and complete my line out so definitely look into this house um this fragrance especially black touch it's an awesome fragrance it can be a signature scent it does project good it lasts very long time it's not a weak performer whatsoever and a very nice presentation as well okay so yes i highly recommend it longevity i'll give this like 8 out of 10 very good longevity projection i'll give it like 8.5 solid solid projection from this trust me if you have something on your neck back of the neck it will project beautifully uh smell of it 8.5 really really solid as well uh versatility this is where it's also scoring very high mark because it can be worn all year round 9 out of 10 uniqueness uh maybe one or two because it's kind of like familiar it's almost like uncre noir uh and Their dermis holding hands side by side and walking uh, and down the lane and stuff. Okay, so if you like dark, natural, earthy, uh, vetiver sort of fragrances that resembles a little bit of a night time, something like darkness, but it's a little bit like more uh, in kind of puts you in that mood. You know, like it can be also good for maybe uh, if you're attending some funeral or something, looking for something appropriate to wear. You can wear it in the church. You know, you can wear it in the holy. Uh, occasion as well you can go for prayers you can also wear this you know so it is actually very nice i could see a uh let's say priest wearing this fragrance because you know it goes with that personality so overall this fragrance i rated very highly 8.5 out of 10 okay black touch by frank olivier uh i don't want to go overboard and say like this is like going to change your world no but uh, if you like ancre noir and terre d'hermes i think you should definitely check it out it's a solid good fragrance you're not going to be wearing every day but it's actually better than the price you pay so that's what that's what, that's what i think it's called winner all right check out black touch by frank olivier and uh it's going to pick you up compliments for sure okay very handsome fragrance i'll talk to you soon have a very nice day and tada